Hi guys, welcome to the final mode of the major scale. We're going to go through Locrian today. Now, obviously we've gone through a few of them. This is the seventh mode now, so it's going to say the final mode. So uh, this will probably be a bit of a quicker video for a couple of reasons. One, we know the format. And two, this is the one I genuinely can't remember ever actually using. I've used a, a scale called Super Locrian um, before playing over alt chords. Um, when I was studying music, which was a few years ago now, and that's probably the last time I used it. Um, but this actual Locrian, is, I don't think I've ever used. So let's try and go through it quickly. So sound, standard stuff. Uh, G major scale first. So there's our notes. Let's give a bit more volume. Um, for those who don't know, that's an F sharp note. There's our F sharp, F sharp. Yeah. So there's another F sharp. F sharp is going to be our root, so let's work through the scale and let's see how it compares to what we'd expect from a major scale in terms of our intervals. So we expect from um, a tone to start with between the root and the second, but we do not have a tone. We've got that flat second, we've seen it once before in Phrygian, so we've got another flat second, so Locrian has a flat second. Now we know that that's going to throw everything out. We've got another tone after that. The next jump, which is going to be from here, this G note here, to this A note. So tone, so we know that's a flattened third, okay? Because we've got the flat second, a tone above a flat second is a flat third. So we've got root, flat second, flat third. Our next note is going to be a B note. Now this is a perfect fourth. So that's, that note is fine, that's what we'd expect. Next note, however, which is a C note, is not. That is a flat five. So you get that beautiful sound. So the first thing we've got here, this is going to be our first diminished scale. So it's going to have a diminished sound. It's not the diminished scale. It is a diminished sound because we have a flat third and a flat five. So we've got roots, flat second, flat third, perfect fourth, flat fifth. Okay, we'll start to the C note. The next note is going to be a D note here. Okay, so you probably can guess what kind of note that is. Is that going to be a major sixth? No, it is not. So we've got a flattened sixth. Then we go up to the next note, which is an E note, which is a flattened seventh. Um, and then we're back up to the root, which is our F sharp, which we're going to play there. So we've got root, flat second, flat third, perfect fourth. Flat five, flat six, flat seven, then our root. Okay, a lot of flats. Everything but the fourth basically is flattened. So let's take our major scale. Okay, shortcut there because I forgot how to speak. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to transpose that to the key of G. So we've got a root. We got a flat second. Ooh, that sounds good already. We've got a flat third. We've got a perfect fourth. We've got a flat five. Lovely. We've got a flat six. We've got a flat seven. And we've got an eight. And there you go. So this, in this case, it's going to be, um, so you've got G, then this would be A flat, because we're flattening the A to an A flat. Okay, this would be B flat. This is just a C. This would be D flat, E flat, F, and then root G. Excitingly, when you flatten an F sharp, it becomes an F. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is work out what position that is. Well, it's not position five, it's position one again, but we've shifted it along one fret. So G Locrian comes from the A flat major scale. Exciting stuff, I can tell everyone's like, what? But it, it, it's true, it is. So basically we're gonna play what would be position one A flat, so. And then all we're gonna do is do that scale, but start here. There's our roots. Beautiful sounding. 
and there's our minor seven flat five chord which is the chord that we play over the top and that's it so that's the Locrian scale you're going to use position one but we're going to shift it from from this is normally this is where the root normally is on position one with your middle finger we shift it so your first finger becomes the root and that's Locrian position one so we're going to find that throughout all of the scales and, and this is what actually makes this one slightly diff more difficult to play I think is because actually position one is position one and position two is position two etc but everything is shifted one fret along so it's very easy to be trying to work your way through this and find yourself all of a sudden thinking hang on a minute I'm just playing the major scale so just be a little careful with that um, and that's it, that's the, that's the final mode. So again, the challenge as always is to just try and learn it in that first position, which is a challenge in itself. Try and transpose it to all the other keys if you can using that E string root. And then use the five positions that we've gone through of the cage system to move it around so you can play it all the way across the fretboard in any key is the goal. What I'm gonna do over the next few weeks um, is probably try and recap each um, scale, each mode, and maybe throw in a couple of example licks um, in that mode, um, just just ones that um, I use slash have stolen from other people. Um, probably I don't know some of them um, are, are ones that I've just come across. Uh, just so I can you can you can start to hear the sound of them. Um, yeah, and that's probably what I'll do next, and then and then who knows from there. Um, thank you to the like one person who's watching these. I really appreciate it. So if uh, you could like um, comment subscribe to my channel and then if you could head over to Facebook if you've got Facebook and like my page it's um, facebook.com slash Kramo Guitar C-R-A-M-O Guitar I'd really really appreciate it and I'll see you next time for probably looking back recapping some Dorian um, enjoy Locrian um, and have a good week bye bye